Hey guys, it Industries here. And boy, that is loud. We have the game called 123 Slaughter Me Street by uh, Impulse Studios or something like that. I'm going to let this play through so you can hear the story. A Channel 12 exclusive report on the whereabouts of the missing Tim Denson. As many of you know, the once critically acclaimed Tim Denson was recently reported missing by his family after years of no contact. It was believed he resided at the apartment complex on 123 Sutter Mill Street. He is globally regarded as the father of the Cause Puppet, which is an outfit a puppeteer can wear and manipulate from within. When recently trying to contact him, his family had discovered the apartment complex was abandoned years ago. Tim's possessions were never claimed by his family, and when the landlord closed the complex, he left everything as is, abandoned, forgotten. Some of the locals even say that his puppets walked the halls of the abandoned complex in search of their long-lost puppeteer to take them home with him. Anybody else is a target, especially those with a questionable background. This, of course, is an ads. urban myth. As always, stay tuned to Channel 12 for more breaking news coverage of this story. This is Richland Burrow for Channel 12 News, signing off. One year later. good. This game is relatively simple, but actually it can really be a pain in the ass sometimes. Like, the one that keeps getting me the most is the greeter, the pink one that jumps out. It's probably a major spoiler, but like, we'll get to that really quickly, so I don't think it's really much of a spoiler. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have seen this game before, but those of you that haven't, there are like these three puppets, thus the name went to Three Slaughter Me Street. And what will happen if they get you, well, well, you know what happens. A jump scare ensues. It's pretty much like a very FNAF-like game where you pretty much prevent a jump scare from happening. But instead of being stuck in an office, you have to walk through a hallway and make it to the exit. So that's a little bit scarier, because you have to move past them. As opposed to being stuck in office, you can just close them out and wait till 6 a.m. You don't have to actually confront them. But these fellas here, you have to confront them, or else. And there's one that follows behind you, the big blue one with the horns is the one that follows behind you and he'll catch you if you don't... Oh, hello. Oh, he got shot by the cops. Salvation awaits. That doesn't sound very enticing. I mean, who would be writing stuff like that on the walls? Surely not Tim Denson. It sounds like Jim Henson. It almost sounds like to play on that guy who made all the puppets, you know.
I think these guys are supposed to be like be based around the uh, the puppets from Sesame Street or something like that, or the puppets from like the Dark Crystal or Labyrinth or something like that. Only these ones try to kill you. Browser. I also found out a little important thing that don't turn around and spam the light on and off, or otherwise it'll it'll piss them off and they'll move more aggressively and the follower will be affected as the flashlight as often as he is if you do that. So yeah, if you if you panic and do seizure lights all over the place, you're gonna Just want to do it every so often. When you press that to open the door. Oh, you want to keep the light on when you're on the stairs, or else you'll uh, pop out of the darkness and fuck you up. So don't let the light go out. I also found something weird. If you're wondering why the, why if you press the button and nothing happens, uh, something is happening. It's just that there's no actual loading screen, no actual loading meter that shows up. So the level is loading after you press it once like this. So it doesn't matter how many times you press it, it's still going to take the same amount of time to load the new level and the new mechanics for the enemies. Just thought you guys should know that. That's probably the one little thing they could change. Just they could add in a loading meter instead of having the button stay there and make it seem like it's not doing anything. Oh man, I'm a little under the weather today. Good thing I got some nice warm coffee. Oh, it's cold. Oh, and I got some of my glasses, of course. Now this is where I think the pink bastard shows up. Come on, let us take your head off. It won't hurt, I promise. <laughs> Proceeds to just violently rip you in pieces. And then mount your head on some wall somewhere. Oh, we're not violent. We just want to rip your head off. We're not violent at all. So you want to stop at every door. That was really delayed. It's better to be paranoid than to be dead. That's the thing about this game. Is It's better to be paranoid than dead. So if you're a paranoid door checker, this is the paradise for you. And if you don't like being paranoid, well, welcome to hell. Your reservation, your reservation awaits. I don't think the follower is actually showing up on this level, it's just the greeter. Come on, stay on! Otherwise, the greeter might get me on the stairs. Oh, thank God. Wait a minute, is this thing on? Okay, it is. It's running surprisingly smooth. It's probably because I have it windowed. It's probably why it's running a lot smoother now. And I feel the need to pretzel all of a sudden. I feel like I'm more focused when I'm pretzeling. I can't do it in other places though, otherwise it looks weird. I can only pretzel in my home, own home, but sometimes, like, at the cigar shop, I really want to pretzel on the couch, but I can't. Because then I'd have to take my shoes off, and that would just be weird. But man, I wish I could do that. 
I guess that's why they have those little things where you can kick your feet up on. Okay, it's just still loading. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? It, it, it really screws with the, uh, you know, this button. It doesn't do anything. I swear, that adds to how scary the game is. I'm so paranoid that this thing is going to stop recording out of nowhere, even though I didn't press any buttons. I disabled the thing with escape so it won't, like, if I press escape and change settings, it won't, like, pull up the menu. And, yeah. Well, here we go. It works even if you are turned around. If you were turned around, it'll still work. Because there's still light in the room. I don't think the waiter is uh, show showing up yet. He's in one of the doorways. And instead of popping out like the greeter or following like the follower, he will wait basically in a doorway and you have to go in there and shine a light in his eyes or else if you pass him without flashing him you know he's gonna run out and jump scare you so you want to turn around every now and then and flash this guy no dirty jokes intended and sometimes you have to hit the flashlight because it doesn't want to stay on See, there's that there's that intense moment where you get the feeling of I don't know and that he could just pop out at any moment because if you don't have the light on or if you or if he's too close behind you know when you go through the door he'll actually catch you on the stairs well it's getting into much more complicated levels now so you might see a jump scare or two happen so might want to warn you if you are not used to jump scares um, you might want to brace yourself because it could happen in any moment on this level including the ending don't don't have a sigh of relief when I'm on the stairs because you know something could still get me Where this game just gives you paranoia sometimes. I tried to play uh, 123 SMS 2, you know, Slaughter Street 2, and uh, it my computer couldn't really handle it. Probably even in window mode, it couldn't even handle it. I'll have to give it a try and see if my computer can handle it and I can make a video on it for you guys. Yep, the waiter has, uh, is showing up on the next level. There are ten floors total. Floor one, of course, being the big old night five. Oh crap. The jump scares aren't really that bad, unless, of course, they get you off guard. Mistaking those pipes for a doorway. I know the follower is on this level too, so I have to keep turning around every now and then just to make sure he's not right on my ass. So whatever you do, do not flash the light on and off multiple times and like make seizure lights because you will piss them off. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. I really thought I had it too! That actually got me good. Okay, that one actually got me good because I didn't expect it to happen. So yeah, if he's too close behind and you don't keep the light on enough on the stairs, he'll get you. Sometimes it's just random chance. Oh my god. Okay, that other puppet jump scare back there actually got me pretty good. Still recovering from that. Sure, my shit is still working. Yeah, turning around and flashing all will anger your friends. Yes, I, I must have flashed the the follower at least one too many times while uh, monologuing here is probably why he got to me. Because if you flash him too many times, he is more likely to get you on the stairs. <laughs> Because he'll be angry enough to actually try and chase you down the stairs, even if your light is on. So that's why you don't want to flash the follower too many times, because he, he's more likely to get you on the stairs if you do. You'll get through the level just fine, but the ending can get you. It's like if you get a bad score at the end of a level and then they punish you for it. So there are consequences to uh, being a spammer on this game. Spammers, uh, there are no, there is no mercy for spammers in this game. Like they will swiftly deliver anti-spamming justice. Is gonna pop up way more often, and so will the waiter. Whoa. Leave me alone, dope man! So close! You lie, there's no salvation here!
Okay, that actually got me, too. Holy shit. That. I hate that puppet. <laughs> I hate that thing. Holy shit! I'm pinned between two of the puppets! Go, go, go! GTFO! GTFO! I knew it! He was gonna... Come on, come on. Don't do this to me, don't do this to me, don't do this to me! Oh! Finally! About time, is this thing still going? It is. There's still a little bit more torture for me left. <laughs> I forgot how scary this game actually is. The second one is actually a little bit scarier because they're actually chasing after you. I really hate the blue one. The blue one is the fastest one and is like the scariest one because it's got the most fucking teeth. And he's fucking huge. He's like eight feet tall, incredible hulk with fur. Top that off with like shark like FNAF 4 teeth. Like, <laughs> that's scary. It's like, it's like Cookie Monster if he was addicted to steroids. I think this is the last level, isn't it? Then we finally get to see the ending! I won't spoil it for you guys. That I won't spoil. The ending is pretty interesting. That's the only hint I'll give you is that the, hint, the ending is kind of in interesting. And that the second game is a prequel to this game. I heard they're gonna they're probably gonna make a third game. Maybe. It might all be rumors, it might all be hoaxes, but That'd be interesting if there was a third game. No, this is the second floor. Hiding in there, or she, or it, or that thing. That was really motherfucking close. Come on, let's beat this level. Come on. Oh, come on! 
Okay, that one was I was expecting. Okay, that one didn't get me. That one didn't make me scream. I knew that was going to happen. Not gonna make me squeal again. You had your fun. Take me. Some motherfuckers already out. Damn, flashlight wanted to quit at the worst goddamn moment. I hate it when it does that. Or like there. Almost got screwed over for that. Ah! No! You're not making me squeal! You're not making me squeal again! They're trying so hard! <laughs> There are the biggest tryhards in any horror game. Oh, come on. Okay, you, you don't scare me, okay? You're just annoying. And so are you. actually a lot harder than it fucking looks. out of here this time. Oh, finally. Now I can complete this final level and end this game. End this nightmare. <laughs> Good God. This is actually more difficult than I remember. Sure, it's not overloading. I have a fear of that happening. I don't really have a lot of faith with my computer because it's been known to do some really stupid things sometimes. Like restart in the middle of a, a recording or restart in the middle of a game. It's the multiplayer games they restarts in the middle of that piss me off the most. So I just hope the computer doesn't do that. Because I've had that happen once or twice in a lot of videos I weren't able to make because of it. Now let's end this game. Let's see what the ending is, shall we? You'll hear a laugh when you get to the final level. That's how you know it is. You ever notice the stairs only go one way down? Well, of course, you fell in through the top, so... I'm dead. 
See, the controls are a little bit finicky sometimes, so it makes it damn near impossible to... that rustling that means followers officially behind us. Doing what he does best. Follow like a old creep. Thirsty. <laughs> He's probably gonna get me. That was a perfect light on, so that shouldn't be. Yes! Game win! Time to see the ending. There's fire everywhere. Oh. This guy might be in more trouble than I thought he was. Oh, they're coming for him. Please don't let there be another jump scare. we went to hell. It kind of looks like all the fire everywhere and the puppets not being burned by it. it looks like this poor fellow went straight to hell. So pretty much we die in the end anyway. Like at the end of Slender or FNAF 4, you wind up dying in the end of the game anyway.
just more. <sighs> Whoa! What is that thing? I was right, he definitely went to hell. All the fire. And that was 123 Slaughter Me Street. So, uh, feel free to make any theories on the game or feel free to comment. So yeah, that was an interesting ride, wasn't it? Nathan Industries, out. I'll see you next time.